1944 in Fargo, North Dakota, and this is where I grew up. My first home was in an Art Deco luxury apartment building that my dad built. Next door to that was my grandma's house, and on the other side was a home my aunt and uncle and their three kids lived in. Before I was three, my dad renovated the top floor of Grandma's house into an apartment where my sister Terry was born in 1947. When my dad took my mother to the hospital for her birth, I can remember my grandma put me in my wagon and took me to the grocery store around the corner to distract me. In those days, we had neighborhood groceries to shop at, nothing like the supermarkets today. I also used to love to push my sister around in my doll buggy. I thought that was a lot of fun. There were a lot of kids my age to play with in the neighborhood. I liked riding my tricycle, my scooter, and roller skating. Back then, skates were flat things you used to key to tighten onto the soles of your shoes. The only problem was they tended to come loose and you'd go flying. One of the kids I played with and grew up with was named Bobby Boleyn. He grew up to be a famous teen idol named Bobby B. We would have graduated the same year, but he had left school and started his band. He took over for Buddy Holly when their plane went down in Clear Lake, Iowa. It was really cool to have known someone who was famous. My cousin Douglas lived next door and was about five years older than me, and I adored him. Every once in a while, he would tell me he was going to get the moon from the sky that night and give it to me. He'd get a ladder to stand on and hand me a paper crescent moon. I thought it was the real thing. He also used to trick me into coming up to the loft over their garage. The ladder went straight up the wall, which was fine, but I was scared to come back down. I used to have to yell out the loft window for my mother to get me down. One other thing I remember when I was staying with my grandma is that she wanted me to go next door and bring the ducks home from my uncle's hunting trip. Doug was outside with these gross dead ducks he wanted me to carry by the neck home. No way was I going to touch them. I finally got a hold of their feet and carried them back like that. He thought it was pretty funny. On my first day of school, first grade, no kindergarten in those days, I had a hanky with bunnies in my hand. I was scared that first day, so I clutched my hanky in my sweaty hand all day, which caused all the colors to fade together. There wasn't any daycare back in those days. Mothers stayed home and took care of the house and kids. Women seldom drove cars back then, as was the case with my mother. We either walked, took the bus, or a taxi. Dads brought home the paycheck, unlike today when both, or both parents work. Relatives tended to live close by, and I used to love getting together with them at Grandma's for Christmas and Thanksgiving dinners, although I had to sit at the kitty table. I also started to take tap dancing lessons around this time. Grandma sold all, sewed all my costumes for my recitals. She also made my flower girl dress. Thus began my love of dance. My grandma was one of my most favorite people. We used to walk downtown or use a, a bus or a taxi because Back then, most women didn't drive. There were no malls back in those days, only local department stores and shops. They were only open during the day and on Monday night, and nothing was open on Sunday like it is now. Before TV came out, we used to listen to our favorite radio programs. I loved The Shadow, Lone Ranger, and Fibber McGee and Molly. Eventually, we got our first black and white TV set. They had rabbit ear antennas and needed a lot of adjustment to get a clear picture. And there was no remote, of course. After school, we'd come home and watch, and it was mostly westerns like Roy Rogers, and Gene Autry and some cartoons like Benny Boots. <laughs>
We also used to go outside to play and run around the neighborhood and that happened and play after dark. It wasn't until I was older that my dad and I had some conflicts that I wish we could have resolved before he died. We had a, a cottage at the lake which all of us kids just loved to go to during the summertime. And eventually, my mother hated being at the lake. So eventually, my dad sold it, telling us kids that now we can take trips together. The only thing is that we never did that. And this was around the time when Disney World, had, or not Disney World, Disneyland had opened in California. And I wanted to go so bad. I used to sit and watch the wonderful world of Disney on Sunday nights. And I was 52 when I finally made it to Disneyland is pretty much just like the Magic Kingdom.